Hi, I'm Catherine from Growing Chefs Ontario, and I'm going to talk to you about staying organized while you're cooking. We use the term mise en place in a lot of our recipe videos, which translates from French literally as things in place. Mise en place is a term that is at the center of every chef's kitchen, and it means having all of your ingredients and all of your equipment laid out and organized so that everything is ready to go. Taking these extra steps will help to get rid of any distractions, like stopping to find the correct tool. The process of taking a few minutes to read through your recipe and try to think ahead is so crucial to the success of the recipe. It gives you a chance to identify problems before they arise and plan out how you will tackle these challenges. Working with kids in the kitchen is super fun, but it can also be very messy, hectic, and certainly a little bit stressful. The more organized you can be before you start will be what makes it mostly fun and less chaotic. Also, by being organized, you can present your children with exciting opportunities where they can put theories and ideas that they talk about in school into action or experiential learning. One of the first concepts that we want to start with is the idea of working clean. Working clean means putting things away into the proper spots as you finish with them. It is a skill that has to be developed, so don't worry if it gets messy as you go along. That's just a part of cooking. It's not just the dishwasher who cleans up the kitchen. Everyone does their part as they go along, and it makes it a lot less work at the end of the day if we clean as we go. One of the simplest tricks for working clean is to keep a bowl beside your cooking station and to put vegetable scraps in there so all of your compost is kept together and can be emptied easily. It's also important to keep a clean workspace to avoid cross-contamination. This happens when one food crosses paths with another and we want to avoid this in particular around raw proteins like meat and eggs that could potentially carry harmful bacteria to raw vegetables. For example, if you use a fork to whisk up some raw eggs, you should not use that same fork to eat your cooked eggs with. Or if you're chopping meat and vegetables for a stir fry, you should chop the vegetables first, then finish with the meat and then properly wash and sanitize your cutting board. Chefs always finish one task before they start another. Otherwise, they may not remember where they left off and finish it incorrectly. Sometimes when you're working with young chefs, they will not have the patience to see the activity through to the end, and that's totally okay. Even if you bring them in for just part of the cooking process, it still gives them the benefit of being able to cook alongside you and become excited about the meal that they're preparing. As a general rule, however, before we give our kids a new task, we do ask that they see their task through to the end. Cooking with your kids is not a time to multitask. One of the challenges of being a chef whose whole job is based around multitasking is taking a step back and not doing this when you're working with children. Here are the three things that you need to remember to stay organized in the kitchen. Mise en place. Have all your equipment and ingredients gathered before you begin to cook to make sure that you have everything before you start. Working clean. Clean as you go to help keep the chaos organized and reduce stress and mess at the end. Finishing one task before starting another. Breaking the recipe into tasks ahead of time so you can help decide which things will be best to bring the kids in for is helpful to lay this out. As children get more comfortable in the kitchen and get used to the fact that many of these tasks will be challenging or repetitive, they will be able to complete more tasks. Remember to be patient and do your best to be positive and encouraging, no matter what. Eventually, they'll be able to create a recipe from beginning to end with you just observing and helping. But even that will not happen every single time. It takes practice. As a next step, check out our video on modifying recipes for children of different ages.